Hey guys, so we're here at event number two, starting off um, by doing 10 thrusters. Partner one has to do 10 thrusters. Then buddy number two has to do 10 thrusters. Second movement are burpees over the bar. Partner one has to do 10 burpees over the bar. Then partner two has to do 10 burpees over the bar. Then we're at the pull-ups. You can divide the pull-ups in any order as desired or as many reps as partner one wants to do and how many reps partner two wants to do. Then looking at the movement standards for the thrusters, you have to go into a full squat position, meaning your hip has to be lower than the knee when traveling up. You have to be in a fully locked out position, so lock out the knee, the hip, and the elbow with the barbell overhead. The movement standards for the burpees, chest has to touch the floor. Then when you're jumping over the bar, one point at a time, both feet have to be mid-air. So guys, looking at the movement standards for the pull-ups, chest to bar pull-ups, and for the bar muscle up. So again, the feet have to go behind the vertical plane in every pull-up that you do. For the chest to bar pull-ups, for the butterfly pull-ups, for kipping pull-ups, and also for the bar muscle-ups. For the bar muscle-ups, when you're going above the bar, you have to have a full elbow lockout. In doing a kipping pull-up or a butterfly pull-up, a normal pull-up, your chin has to be above the bar. And then when you're doing a chest bar pull-up, the bar has to be below the collarbone when you are touching the bar with your chest. The movement standards for the jumping pull-up are as followed. The athlete needs to have 15 centimeters between their head and the pull-up bar when standing on top of a box. When starting the movement, the athletes need to bend their knees and have fully extended arms at the bottom position. To complete a rep, the athlete needs to reach their chin over the bar and get back onto the box with their arms in a full locked out position.